we want to evaluate the in-depth integral. We just did this example using trig substitution, but now we'll find the same antiderivative using basic u substitution. Normally, when performing basic u substitution, we let u equal the higher degree part of the integrand, hoping that differential u matches the remaining part. But in this example, that's not going to work. We'll let u equal the radicand of 25 minus x squared. So if we let u equal 25 minus x squared, notice that differential u would be equal to negative 2x dx. So if we divide both sides by negative 2, we can say that negative 1 half differential u equals x dx. Now there's a slight problem here. Notice how we have x cubed dx, not x dx. So this x here will take care of one factor of x, but we'll still have a factor of x squared. So you might be thinking, what should we do with that? Well, if we let u equal 25 minus x squared, we can solve this equation for x squared and then perform a substitution for the x squared in terms of u. So if we add x squared to both sides and then subtract u on both sides, we'd have x squared equals 25 minus u. And now I'll write the integrand in terms of u using this equation, this equation, and this equation. To better see how this works, let's rewrite this as the integral of x times x squared. There's our x cubed. And let's write the square root of 25 minus x squared as the quantity 25 minus x squared to the 1 half dx. And now I'll perform our substitutions. So x dx is equal to negative 1 half du. We'll factor out the negative 1 half. Here's differential u x squared is equal to 25 minus u. And the quantity 25 minus x squared is equal to u. So we have times u to the 1 half. Now let's go ahead and distribute. So we have negative 1 half times the integral of, this would be 25 u to the 1 half. And this is u to the first, so we have minus u to the three halves. And now we'll find the antiderivative with respect to u, then we write it in terms of x. So we'll have negative one half times 25 times the antiderivative of u to the one half would be u to the one half plus one, that's u to the three halves, divided by three halves. But instead of dividing by three halves, let's multiply by two thirds. So we'd have u to the three halves and then times two thirds minus the antiderivative of u to the three halves would be u to the five halves divided by five halves or two fifths times u to the five halves. Now let's go ahead and distribute. Notice in this first product, the twos will simplify out, leaving us with negative 25 thirds. And then u to the three halves, since u is equal to 25 minus x squared, would be the quantity 25 minus x squared to the three halves. Now for the next product, notice how we have a negative times a negative, that's gonna be positive or plus. Once again, notice how the twos simplify out. So we have one fifth times u to the five halves, but again, u is 25 minus x squared. So this quantity is raised to the five halves power, and then we have plus c. This would be our antiderivative. So notice how by performing this u substitution, the problem is actually much shorter and cleaner than using trig substitution. I hope you found this helpful.